She'll also be coaching the World Championships in Malaysia and the Goodwill Games in Seattle. And of course, every time you read about that in the paper, they always slip in the line of don't be surprised if you see her Barcelona, Spain in 92. So I think there's a good chance that uh, Teresa could be uh, the women's Olympic coach. Virginia will have their starting lineup announced first by public address announcer Kathleen Canning here at Rutgers. And let's give you the Virginia starting lineup. At the forwards, they'll go with Fran Scott. She's a 5'8 senior out of Oak Park, Illinois. Also at the other forward, Melanie Wagoner, 6'3 sophomore out of Sykesville, Maryland. At center, number 54 is Audra Smith. She's a 6'2 sophomore out of Milledgeville, Georgia. And the guards, and that is the story for Virginia, Number 24, Dawn Staley, 5'6", sophomore out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And uh, she comes in averaging 22.9 points per game. And at the other guard is Tammy Reese, number 32. She's a 5'6", sophomore from Eldred, New York. And she comes in averaging 16.5, 57% from three-point range. And what's interesting there, Lou, real quick, is they, they will come in with three subs off the bench, and those subs average 30 points. The subs replace three starters who average 10 points. And the big roar here at Rutgers is, of course, for the Lady Knights. Up front for Rutgers. They will go with number 32, Vicki Pikett. Vicky, an outstanding game in the semifinal against USC. She's a junior, six foot out of Heightstown, New Jersey, and she averages 19.5 points per game. At the other forward is Tanya Hansen, number 33, a sophomore out of Albany, New York. She stands at six foot two. She's averaging 13 points per ball game. Latanya Johnson starts at center. Latanya, a sophomore, six foot four out of Patterson, New Jersey, and she's averaging 5.8 rebounds per contest. In the backcourt, number 14 is Lynn Ust. She's a junior, 5'11", out of South Amboy, New Jersey. Voted the most improved player on the Lady Knights in 1988-89. And at the point guard position is number 11, freshman, 5'5", Cheryl Kopp out of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Played at Union Catholic High School. She comes in averaging 10 points per ball game, 85% from the free throw line, and she runs the team, taking over where Janet Maloof left off. It's interesting to note on that Rutgers team of those starters, four first-team all-New Jersey players out there. And right now, the big crowd here at the Lewis Brown Athletic Center rising for our national anthem. for tonight's contest will be Bill Titus and Angie Sansevero. And they'll be calling the game for 9-1 Virginia, 3-2 Rutgers. The Lady Cavaliers in their road navy blue uniforms, if you will, trimmed with orange and the orange numerals. Rutgers will be in their home white, trimmed with the red or scarlet, as they like to call it here at Rutgers. The Lady Knights 24 and 7 last year, Atlantic 10 Conference champions. This year, a little bit of a struggle, Dick, early in the season. Losing a game, the opening game of the season, to the University of Maine. Opened some eyes, but Rutgers has been playing 
much better since then. And, of course, the big win against Southern California in the first round of this tournament. Audra Smith will jump for Virginia. Tanya Hansen will jump for Rutgers. And we are just about ready to get underway. And the championship game of the Bell Atlantic Tournament is underway. Here's Staley puts it up and draws the foul. So right away, Dawn Staley takes it to the hoop. Staley doesn't waste any time either. She penetrates very well. And, and something that's great about her game is her ability to dish that ball off. She really sees the floor well. So if we watch her tonight, she's going to give some great passes. Sometimes they're too good, and some of the players can't handle them. The foul is on Vicki Pikett. That's a quick first foul for Vicki. And Staley hits the free throw. Virginia has the early lead, 1-0. Second on the way and in. And the Lady Cavaliers lead it 2-0 on two free throws by Staley. Quickly, Rutgers up court. This is Lynn Us, number 14. Here is Hanson into Johnson, who lays it in. And Rutgers following up on what they did last night, trying to get a transition game going. A lot of up-tempo, long passes gone right to the hoop. Rutgers with some pressure in the backcourt and knocked away by Pikett. Saved, a scramble underneath the basket. Johnson kind of hikes it back to Ust. And Rutgers comes back on the turnover. Nice Here, hustle by Pikett. Here's Vicki Pikett, right wing. Up top to Cheryl Kopp, who will set it up. Pikett being played by Fran Scott. Inside Pikett, nice maneuver off the glass and in. And that's where Rutgers' strength has been so far this year, an inside game. Tammy Reese quickly up court for the Cavs. Up and under with the reverse, no. Rebound, knocked around. Comes back outside. Staley to Reese. Tammy Reese recovering from an ankle injury, which she suffered on December 17th. Staley pops no. Rebound underneath to Fran Scott. Nice hustle. Staley with a dipsy-do move doesn't go. Rebound knocked around. A scramble. Jump ball. It'll be Rutgers on the alternating possession. Looks like she got a little fancy in that inside move, but when you give up some of those inches inside, you got to do it a little bit differently to get it up. It was a good move. One of the main differences in women's college basketball that sets it aside for men's college basketball is the fact that there's a 30-second shot clock and not a 45, as you may be accustomed to watching men's basketball. Cheryl Kopp with the shot doesn't go, but dished back outside by Pikett. Ust puts it in. That, to me, is the key right there. Lynn Ust, I think, has to have a good offensive game for Rutgers to pick their game up. Lynn coming in shooting 32% from the field, and Cheryl Kopp steals it here. Here's Pikett, lays it up and in. Rutgers leads 8-2, and Debbie Ryan wants to talk it over. And talking to Coach Grants before the game, we were asking her about the, we knew she'd want to run because she said she didn't have a half-court game. I didn't know about the press. She told me it was going to be a phantom press. Uh, doesn't look to be a phantom press out there. It's, it's done pretty well, gotten some turnovers. Rutgers leading it 8-2, and a nice start for the Lady Knights. And they got off to a fast start against Southern California as well. well. They played the same kind of game, and I think one of the keys is getting the ball to Cheryl Kopp. And if we watch, every time there's a rebound, they look to her first. I think that's very important to get that break on. She gets it down the floor very quickly. Virginia at 9-1 and one coming in. It's a great move now that Vicky's going to make, and it was on that long pass from Cop looking straight up. She really goes up strong, uses her strong hand right side, left side of the basket using that right hand, but it was a great move. And Coach Grenz has to be happy with that start. Give her and a chance to sit down for a couple minutes. And a quick timeout by Debbie Ryan trying to get Virginia back into the game here. You don't want to get the Rutgers crowd into it, do you, Dick? There is Tammy Reese. She's being played by Lynn Us. Cross court. They go to Staley. Wide open for three. Off the back of the rim, no. Rebound, LaTanya Johnson. 
Up ahead to Kopp, and she almost lost it, but us saves. Now it's knocked away by Staley, and here comes Virginia. Staley puts it up in, and the foul. Dawn Staley. Given up a lot of inches there, too, but you see the way she used her body so nicely and went right into Johnson and lifted that ball up. She's never out of the play. She missed the three-pointer down this end. It was a nice skip pass by Virginia over top of that zone. She missed it. Rutgers starting to come down, but she's got great quickness. Cut the ball loose. Staley a 77% free throw shooter. And she hits. It's a three-point play, and Virginia is back to within three. 8-5, Rutgers. And all five points by Staley for Virginia. Cop being played by Reese. Lynn Us goes baseline. Now finds Johnson in the paint. No. Rebound knocked around, and it comes to Virginia. Good job by Heather Burge. She stands in there. She's six foot four. Just a freshman. That's one of the subs we talked about. She averages 11.6 per game and 5.6 rebounds, but she comes off the bench. Fran Scott. And there's a travel. Melanie Wagoner. The sophomore called for steps. And Rutgers the other way. Both teams applying pressure in the backcourt. Tammy Reese putting good pressure on Cheryl Kopp because they know she does all the handling. They're trying to pressure her, get her to give it up. Kopp gets caught on the baseline. Back to Hanson. Jumper, no. Man, things have slowed down here a bit. Staley pops and hits. Dawn Staley. Doesn't, doesn't slow down when it gets in her hand. You see, she waved the rest of the team up say go ahead Dan I'll get there myself and Virginia has come back nicely Rutgers led 8-2 it's now 8-7 up ahead to Pike it on the baseline turn around one on two finds Johnson inside who lays it in that was a great pass by Vicky there shot saw Tanya open inside Latanya and just dropped it into her Tammy Reese all alone good penetration lays it in it's a one-point Rutgers lead, 10-9. to nine. Reese hurt her ankle December 17th. Has a history of bad ankles and has trouble when she comes back getting in the groove, but seems to be working pretty hard tonight. And the foul is on Tammy Reese. Rutgers ball. She missed four. Reese missed four games last year for three different ankle injuries. And then, of course, hurt it again this year, but seems to be fine out there now. And a timeout on the floor. 15 minutes, 35 seconds remaining in the first half. The score, Rutgers 10 and Virginia 9. The last time you subscribed to a news magazine, what did you get? A free phone that you've never used? Or a calculator that conked out on you? Insight is a different kind of news magazine. Instead of insulting your intelligence by offering you some free plastic gadget, they'd rather give you three free issues. That makes sense because only by reading Insight can you discover how different and really valuable this magazine is. Instead of just rehashing the week's happenings like others do, Insight anticipates and stays ahead of the news, searches out vital stories that need to be told, and tells them long before they're covered by other media. Call now to receive the next three issues free. Subscribe if you wish at the money-saving rate of just $15 for 30 issues or return your invoice marked cancel and pay nothing. Call 1-800-253-1000 to get the next three issues of Insight Magazine without obligation. Yours to keep whether or not you subscribe. Call now 1-800-253-1000. 10-9, Rutgers leading Virginia. Lady Knights with the basketball. Here is Hanson. It's traveling is the call. And Virginia the other way. Tammy Reese moves against Cheryl Kopp. Inside, too much traffic, and it's knocked away, and here comes Rutgers. Kopp quickly up court. Hansen takes it away. Pike it. Nice move. Outside, Ust open. Jumper short. 
Rebound, Reese has it knocked away. And the Cavs throw it away. Fran Scott trying to find Reese, goes over her head. Rutgers comes back, pike it, jumper off the front of the rim. Hansen, rebound, knocked away. Last touch by Rutgers. Things getting a little sloppy here. Went off Tanya's foot that time. Rutgers trying to get it inside, afraid to take that outside shot. Great effort by Tanya on the boards, but she took the ball down and lost it. Dawn Staley shovels in the corner. Reese the jumper now. Rebound us. Cop, pike it. Bounce pass knocked away. Last touch by Virginia. Knocked away by Melanie Wagoner. Inside, us goes to Hanson, but a whistle. And the foul on Virginia. Hanson very aggressive thus far, and she's got to do that to dominate the boards. Done a nice job, at least on the offensive boards right now. Foul is on Dawn Staley, her first, and that's the second team foul on the Lady Cavaliers. Inside, Hanson lays it up, no. And the foul is on Rutgers. I believe it's on Hanson over the top. It was the same basic play, high inside to her. She had that nice little jump shot, but then she went over the back of Burge to get that rebound. Championship game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. Last year it was Tennessee who won the championship, blowing Rutgers out. Lady Knight's trying to reverse the, the tide this year, if you will. Johnson with the rebound, up ahead to Ust. It's a two-on-one for Rutgers. Ust lays it up, no! Rebound knocked around and it comes to Virginia. Staley quickly up court. Dawn puts it up and in off the glass. She doesn't waste any time getting down. Latanya Johnson did a great job last, last time against that pressure, long outlet pass. Should have been two. Virginia has captured the lead. Lady Cavs lead it 11 to 10. Rutgers led at one time, eight to two, and a foul is on Virginia. Debbie Ryan doesn't like the call. That's Reese's second foul, a little bit of a touch foul. You gotta see how the officials are gonna call them. Debbie Ryan didn't like the way they called that one. A couple of Virginia substitutions. Heidi Burge, number 34, is in the game now as that's thrown away by Rutgers. And Dina Evans also in the game for the Lady Cavaliers. Dina Evans, another freshman in that uh, tradition of great Virginia guards. Watch her too, she knows how to play the game. Evans bounced inside, knocked away. Good anticipation there by us. Saw that ball gonna come back out, almost got a piece of it. Coach Grant setting that defense. Staley gets it in. Also in the game for Virginia now, Carmela Franklin. She's a 5'6 senior. Staley with a nice spin move. Behind the back pass. Shot doesn't go though. Heather Burge had the shot. What a pass by Staley. Interesting matchup there with uh, Pike at 6'1". At, uh, against Staley at 5-6. Vicky Pikett, Lynn Ust, top of the key. Left wing, Pikett. Here's Ust, right wing, Cheryl Kopp. Looking to get it inside, not much room there. Back outside to Ust. Sita Mitchelson in the game for Rutgers. Us jumper way off. Rebound knocked around and last touch by Mitchelson. Sita Mitchelson, a freshman who's given Teresa Grant some good quality time so far this year. Pretty strong inside, does a nice job on the boards. Staley, one on three, doesn't go and Mitchelson gets the rebound and is fouled by the Cavs. 
looks to be Carmella Franklin on the personal foul. And for, Vir for Virginia, that'll be their fourth team foul. Mitchelson, one that uh, got away from Virginia, if you will, from Massey's Mill, Virginia. Actually, that's the fifth team foul on the Cavs, and we've only played eight minutes, knocked away. Rutgers retains possession. Here's Cop. Takes it all the way. No. Rebound, Hanson. Yes. Great rebound. Has to be effective on that offensive board, which he has been so far, and then make that shot after getting the rebound. Great move. Here's Dina Evans. Right wing. Jumper is good. Interesting shot, too, when you watch that ball. Ball should have rotation in your fundamental outside shot. It doesn't. It just floats like a knuckleball, but it goes in, and that's the bottom line. Vicki Pikett has been quiet in this first half. Here's Cheryl Kopp. Hanson, stutter step move, puts it up and in, gets the roll. Gets a bounce, she's getting them all there right in the middle. A little bit quiet too, that Rutgers crowd is not in the game yet. They could be a little more helpful if they get in the game. Rutgers leads it 14-13. 11 minutes remaining, first half. Inside, Burge puts it up. No, rebound, Hanson, a strong rebound, loses it, and us saves. Cheryl Kopp quickly up court for RU. Lynn Ust inside Mitchelson. Here's Hanson back out to Pikett. And Kopp will set it up. Vicky Pikett unable to really get into the flow inside yet. Here's Lynn Ust. Only three seconds on the 30-second shot clock. And a three-pointer by Kopp. And that's great when your point guard can give you offense, too. And she's given Teresa 10 points a game. Rutgers by four. 17-13. 10 minutes remaining, first half. Crowd looking for a travel. Here's Staley dishes to Franklin, who lays it in. She does that so well. She penetrates. She has the ability to see everybody and dish it off nicely. 17-15. Knocked away by Burge. Beautiful behind the back pass and the layup by Dina Evans. We're tied at 17. That was excellent. The lanes got filled so nicely. Evans saw that Staley had it in the middle. She went to the right lane. Staley saw her go. Just dropped that pass off beautifully. Cop puts it in. Cheryl Cop stops at the foul line and scores. Almost looks like a duel of the guards. 19-17. Knocked out of bounds. And a timeout on the floor. Nine minutes, 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Rutgers 19, Virginia 17. I'll never forget 1958, the first overtime championship game ever played in the NFL. Unitas and the Colts, they beat the Giants 23-17. And the sporting news was there. Hey, you want overtime? How about that 1982 playoff game? The Chargers over the Dolphins, 41-38. The most exciting game I ever saw. And the sporting news was there. Yes, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, or hockey, wherever the excitement is, the sporting news is there, bringing you more complete coverage than any other sports weekly. Call now for the sporting news at the lowest price anywhere with convenient delivery right to your door. Call 1-800-253-1000 and get 29 issues of the Sporting News for four payments of just $4.99. You'll save 69% off the cover price, 40% off the regular subscription rate. You can't get a better deal. Call 1-800-253-1000. That's 1-800-253-1000. Virginia will inbound underneath their own basket. A little bit of... Trouble is Rutgers plays good defense, but the Cavaliers do get it in. Here's Don Staley in the corner, 
outside, three-pointer taken by Evans. Outside doesn't go. She gets it back. Nine minutes remaining, first half. 1917 Rutgers. Inside they go, dished over and knocked away by Mitchelson. To Keisha Ward in the game for Virginia. She has the ball rejected again. Here's a two-on-one for Rutgers. Pike it the cop, puts it up short, and Cavaliers got back very quickly. Staley all the way and draws the foul. Dawn Staley very quick. Rutgers did not get down court very quickly on that two-on-one. No, it's pretty tough, too, to uh, get back on the defensive end of it with Staley. She's got such great quickness, and she can penetrate well. Actually, I thought the Rutgers end of it was not too bad. It's just they didn't finish it well. She pulled up because Cop realized she was giving up some inches. She couldn't go all the way into the basket because it was Pike had had the ball and had to give it up to Cop. It would have been better the other way around. just didn't work that way. Unfortunately, she didn't make it for Rutgers. Hanson, though, playing very well for Rutgers. Four points, four rebounds. All five Rutgers starters have scored. Dawn Staley at the line. She hits the first. She'll get another. Dawn coming back after arthroscopic knee surgery. This is her second game back. Taken by Reese off the missed free throw. And Virginia with an opportunity to take the lead. They trail 19-18. Nice pass underneath Staley. And a jump ball. It'll be Virginia's ball. Vicki Pikett tying up Dawn Staley. And Staley uh -oh. looks to be shaken up. Well, to tell you, her right leg is not moving. And she did have that orthoscopic surgery. And you just wonder if uh, she hasn't aggravated it. And she seems to be favoring that leg. There's Dawn Staley, the 5'6 sophomore out of Philadelphia. She was an All-Atlantic Coast Conference selection last year. And it is that right knee. Staley, 10 points on the night, two rebounds. And she has been an outstanding performer for Virginia in this first half. That would be uh, quite a loss. As you take a look at the uh, Associated Press Top 20, Especially the top 10, we'll take a look at Louisiana Tech, number one, Stanford second, Georgia third, Iowa fourth, Texas fifth, and Texas, of course, defeated Rutgers earlier in the season. And we saw that Texas team in here, and I'll tell you, they had some real athletes. Long Beach State, number six, Tennessee seventh, North Carolina State eighth, Nevada, Las Vegas ninth, and this Virginia team, number 10 at nine and one, and that is great news for Virginia. As you see, Dawn Staley, Walking it off, and I'm sure Debbie Ryan and the rest of the Lady Cavaliers breathing a sigh of relief. Every loss hurts, obviously, when you lose a starter, but if she can't come back in, or a loss of her would have a tremendous impact on the Virginia team. All right, Dina Evans with the basketball for the Lady Cavaliers. Evans moves against Kopp. Goes outside, jumper, no, off the back rim, rebound underneath, though, to Ward. And here come the Cavaliers again. They'll set it up. Rutgers needs to do a little better job on the defensive boards. Cannot give him two shots. Knocked away. And Cop standing on the end line. I think what they said is she dribbled that ball on that end line and went out of bounds. And Virginia will inbound. Here's Evans outside, finds Scott open at the foul line. Nice move, jumper, no. Off the front of the rim and Rutgers quickly up court. Here's Kopp, right wing, Pike it, dishes inside Mitchelson and then trying to throw it back to us, throws it away. To Keisha Ward, intercepts for Virginia and here come the Cavaliers. Tammy Reese being played by us. 19-18. Rutgers in the lead. 7-15 remaining first half. Inside. Turnaround. Good. 
Very nice move by Burge that time. She gave a little fake to the baseline and then took that big step into the center with that little hook. Nice move. Heidi Burge. And Virginia in the lead. Cavaliers lead it 20 to 19. Under seven minutes remaining, first half. There's Pikett to Cop. Lynn Ust. Mitchelson. Ust. Three seconds on the 30 second shot clock. Doesn't go. Rebound, Virginia. Ward tied up and the foul on Rutgers on Mitchelson. Takesha Ward done a nice job in there, both ends, offensively and defensively, getting some rebounds. Six minutes and 33 seconds remaining here in the first half. Timeout on the floor. Virginia 20, Rutgers 19. I'll never forget 1958. The first overtime championship game ever played in the NFL. Uniteds and the Colts, they beat the Giants 23-17. And the sporting news was there. Hey, hey, you want overtime? How about that 1982 playoff game? The Chargers over the Dolphins, 41-38. The most exciting game I ever saw. And the sporting news was there. Yes, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, or hockey, wherever the excitement is, the Sporting News is there, bringing you more complete coverage than any other sports weekly. Call now for the Sporting News at the lowest price anywhere with convenient delivery right to your door. Call 1-800-253-1000 and get 29 issues of the Sporting News for four payments of just $4.99. You'll save 69% off the cover price, 40% off the regular subscription rate. You can't get a better deal. Call 1-800-253-1000. That's 1-800-253-1000. The Rutgers University Pep Band entertaining the crowd here at the Lewis Brown Athletic Center where Rutgers trails Virginia by one, 20 to 19 in the championship game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. And the horn inadvertently blowing twice. Seems to be a little question there at the scores table as to whether someone reported or didn't report. And they'll try to sort this out. Referees are Bill Titus, Angie Sansevero. It'll be Virginia ball. And the Cavs lead it by one, 20 to 19. Teresa Grentz wanted to know what was going on. Tammy Reese all the way, knocked away by Johnson. Up ahead to Hanson, lays it up. No, traveling is the call. And Coach Grant's furious at the call. I think she may have been more furious at the player because the call was pretty good. It was a, a great play by Rutgers, looking long, throwing it down. That's got to be Tanya's strength, her ability to run the floor. She's got to dribble the ball while she does it, though. And Tammy Reese across the midcourt line, being played by Cott. She puts it up off the back of the rim. No, here's Johnson, who gets it to pike it. And Vicky kind of fixed that long football pass, if you will. Well, she was looking at Cheryl. Cheryl had her hand up. She took a look, but wisely held up on that one. And Cop will set it up. Cop, a freshman point guard. Lynn Ust. Just the junior. Fires and no. Off the front of the rim. Gets her own rebound and is fouled. And the foul is on Takesha Ward. Nice follow by us. Virginia's playing the zone, and they're playing it very effectively. If Rutgers can't hit that outside shot, they certainly have to follow and get the second attempt. I think that's the reason that Vicky has been somewhat subdued offensively this first half. That zone is a little tough in there. Lynn Ust played at one of the uh, great high school basketball programs in the East, maybe in the nation for that matter, at Hoffman High School in South Amboy under Head coach Reggie Carney. Reggie, of course, has departed Hoffman. He is now at Boston University. But uh, Lynn, a, long, a, a player there, and long time, that program, one of the best in the East. Hitting just 40%, though, 
from the line this season, unlike Lynn, usually a good free throw shooter. Seems to have a little trouble getting gone and getting untracked offensively at the beginning of the season here. Game is tied at 20, five and a half remaining here. First half, Rutgers and Virginia in the Bell Atlantic Championship. Ust with some tough D on Dina Evans. Here is Reese, kicks it back outside to Scott. Inside turnaround by Burgno and Johnson rips away the rebound. Johnson kind of owns those defensive boards right now. Cheryl Kopp inside. Hansen puts it up. No. Up ahead quickly, Fran Scott on the left wing. Burge at the foul line. Outside Reese. Wide open and hits. Tammy Reese. 54% from the field. That's good shooting for a guard who shoots mostly from the outside. She's averaging 14 points a game. Last night she only had two points. They were an important two points. Remember she had that bad ankle on December 17. The coach says she has a little trouble getting started. Top nails the three and gives Rutgers the lead. Lady Knights lead it by one. 23-22. Fran Scott on the right wing in the corner inside Ward. Turn around. No. Burge gets it back. No. Blocked. Puts it up again and in. That's some nice effort by Heidi Burge, averaging 8.8 .8 points per game. Great effort by Burge. Good defense by Rutgers, but a better effort by Burge. Went up strong inside. Lady Cavaliers by one, 24-23. A good first half in this Bell Atlantic Tournament ch Championship game. Lynn Ust back to Tanya Hansen. Inside, knocked away. What's the call here? Last touched by Virginia. That zone makes it a little bit tough to get it inside. There was a good example. The Virginia bench giving Virginia 10 points now. No points from the Rutgers bench yet on those substitutions. Pike gets it in. Keep in mind, only nine seconds on the shot clock. Here's Kopp in the lane, forces it up, and no. Rebound knocked around, and it comes to Heather Burge. Here quickly is Fran Scott across the midcourt line. Angles to the corner. Back to Ward, who has it knocked away. Virginia with the basketball. Dina Evans puts it in. Sweet shot by Evans. Sweet move, too. She gave a couple fakes before she took that move. And Virginia with its largest lead. Lady Cavs up by three, 26-23, with three minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Hanson, jumper, good from the foul line. She's doing a nice job of exploiting the openings against that zone in the middle. Seems to be wide open inside. Nice touch. Scott. And the pass is errant underneath the bucket. Here's Pike it quickly down court. Lays it up and in. That's the Vicky Pike it that the Rutgers fans know. That's the same kind of break they had earlier. She gave it up to Cop. This time she decided to power it in herself. 27-26, Rutgers by one. They have scored four unanswered points. Here's Burge knocked away by Hansen. Here's Kopp quickly for Rutgers. It's a three on two. She takes it all the way and draws the foul. Cheryl Kopp draws the foul. Rutgers regaining the lead 27-26 with two minutes and 18 seconds remaining. Rutgers players done a nice job under the defensive basket there of intimidating the Virginia players. A lot of shots being blocked. Tanya Hansen with four blocks on the season and another one there. Excellent job. There's a good look at the freshman point guard of Rutgers, Cheryl Kopp. Outstanding free throw shooter. 85% from the free throw line. And her first is good. We'll update on Dawn Staley for Virginia, who hurt her knee earlier. She came back in, but just for a short time. She's now over on the bench. They have the right knee wrapped with ice on it. And the second, good. Cheryl Kopp, 10 points, double figures. 
three-point Rutgers lead. Evans in trouble and fouled in the backcourt. Three fouls, I believe, on Hanson. And Rutgers not over the limit, so Virginia will throw in side court. There's a good shot of Pikett coming in, making that play. We said before she went up very strong, just dipped under that defense and used the glass nicely. Franklin traveling. Rutgers led by as much as six. They got off to an 8-2 lead to begin the game. And they lead it by three. Under two minutes remaining here in the first half. Pike it, jumper, no. Quickly, Virginia up court. Tammy Reese. Spins outside Evans. Inside Birch, who lost it. Franklin regains outside to Reese. Reese, the only Virginia starter that's in the game right now. She goes inside Birch, knocked away. Last touch by Rutgers. It'll be Virginia ball. The Birch sisters are twin towers in there, both at 6-4, having a little trouble hanging on to the basketball. Rutgers done a nice defensive job. Reese gets it in. Knocked away. Cops spinning in traffic, and the foul on Virginia. They'll call it on Heather Birch. Heather lost the ball that time because she was fighting Latanya Johnson. They were having a real war going in there for position. While she was fighting to get position, the ball was thrown. She couldn't do both. And Rutgers will shoot with Virginia over the limit. Cheryl Kopp to the line. Her first free throw, good. Great form on her shot, nice follow through, good extension on the arm, great rotation on the ball, good concentration. Rutgers as a team shooting 63% from the foul line this season. She hits both, and Rutgers by five, 31-26. Cheryl Kopp, four for four from the line, great foul shooting 12 points. Tammy Reese pops and hits. Tammy with that outstanding outside shot. It's a three-point Rutgers lead, 31-28. We're inside a minute remaining in the first half. Shot outside by Kopp, no. That one, last touch by Rutgers. Off of Mandy Valentine, who's in the game now for Hanson. Hanson sitting down with those three personal fouls. Nice position inside Heather Burge. It's a one-point game, 31-30 Rutgers. 24 seconds on the shot clock and 29 seconds on the game clock, so there's a five-second differential here in the first half. Ust in the corner. Here's Pikett. Ust to cop. Goes cross-court, pike it, nice move, baseline, puts it up, no, and draws the foul. You can almost feel that move coming. You know Vicky is not going to shoot from the outside or doesn't want to shoot from the outside, so you've got to go out under a little better control. But Burge went out and just went for that fake, stepped up. Pike it did a nice job of going around her, drawing that foul. Ten seconds remaining here in this first half, and Vicky pike it to the line. She'll shoot two. Vicky the junior, six foot out of Heightstown, New Jersey. 76% free throw shooter. Her first is good. Averaging 19 and a half points per ball game. 
Picky, one of those first-team All-State players we talked about before. There's still four of them out there. Lynn Us, Cheryl Kopp, Latanya Johnson, Picky Pikett. Her second is no good. Rutgers by a deuce, 32-30. Five seconds remaining. Reese in trouble. Looking to put up the final shot. It's blocked. And that's the way the first half will end. Vicki Pikett with the block in a good first half of basketball. We've reached halftime. The score, Rutgers 32, Virginia 30. And back with halftime activities at the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament in just a few minutes. Treasure dining room tabletop from Burns Hot Serving Dishes, Scratches and Stains with a custom table pad. These deluxe table pads are from the number one maker of table pads in the country. Factory Direct Table Pad Company has been protecting fine dining room tables like yours for years. And by ordering your table pad direct from the factory, your cost is as low as $29.95. Compare that to identical pads costing $100 or more. How did they do it? By eliminating the high markup charge by retail stores. Order your pad direct from the factory and save up to 70% off the retail price. All pads are fully insulated with soft cotton felt bottoms and are available in all most any wood grain or solid color. They fold for easy storage, are guaranteed to fit any shaped table, and carry a factory guarantee of up to 20 years. Don't risk damage to your table another day. Protect it forever and add a touch of elegance with a custom table pad starting from only $29.95. Call now and receive absolutely free this information and sample kit showing you how to order your custom table pad factory direct. Call 1-800-428-4567. Factory Direct Table Pad Company can help you protect your table for up to 70% off. Call now, 1-800-428-4567. Welcome back to the Lewis Brown Athletic Center. Lou Brogno along with Dick Lloyd. We begin half number two of our Bell Atlantic Championship game. And Rutgers scores on their first offensive possession. 34-30, Rutgers by four. Virginia moving left to right on your screen. Here is Tammy Reese in the backcourt with Dina Evans, and right now, Virginia playing without Dawn Staley, their leading scorer, Dick Lloyd. It turned out to be her other knee, too, not the knee that was operated on. They said they may give her a try. I watched her during warm-ups, though. She's really favoring it. Reese puts it in. Great, yeah. great play for the guard who went inside to that paint and went up pretty strong. Well, with Dawn Staley out of the lineup now, I'm sure Debbie Ryan is going to look to Tammy Reese to pick up some of the slack of the scoring. Well, Staley had 10 points that first half. Remember, she sat out about six minutes of the first half. Still had 10. Lynn Ust for three doesn't go, and Virginia the other way. Here come the Lady Cavaliers with an opportunity to tie. Dina Evans with a nice dish outside. Wagoner puts it in. We are tied at 34. Melanie Wagoner has a nice touch, too, from about 10 to 12 feet. And Evan showed you there how good she is with that pass. Rutgers moving the ball around. Down to 10 seconds on the 30-second shot clock. Here's Vicki Pikett. Virginia staying with that zone, trying to keep the big people on the blocks. Send Pikett. the wings down to the corners. Pikett's jumper. No, Lynn Us. No. Hansen regains it, a new 30-second shot clock for Rutgers, and Teresa Grintz wants to talk it over. She takes a quick timeout. 18 minutes and two seconds remaining here in the second half. A timeout on the floor. Rutgers and Virginia tied at 34. An important message about cable television and you. We here at TKR Cable are glad to offer you a wide variety of channels to choose from every day. The programs we bring you come from many sources, satellite delivered cable networks, local broadcast stations, and even regional or other out-of-town stations. However, on January 1st, the Federal Communications Commission will force us to comply with a complex set of FCC rules called Syndicated Exclusivity or Syndex. We want you to know the facts because these rules could affect your viewing habits. The Syndex rules may force us to black out certain television programs or regional or other out-of-town TV stations if a local station has requested exclusive program rights. Now cable networks such as ESPN and CNN won't be affected by these rules. We take pride in giving you the greatest viewing options available and we will do our best to minimize any confusion or disruption created by these FCC rules. Thank you for understanding. 
This message has been brought to you by your local cable system. Rutgers inbounds, the quick timeout by Teresa Grinch. Lady Knights and the Lady Cavaliers tied at 34. Here's Vicki Pikett, Lynn Ust, left wing, goes inside Hanson, over to Johnson. Ust for the jumper, good! That's certainly what Rutgers has to do against that zone. They have to bring it out, they have to be able to hit from the outside. Rutgers by a bucket, 36-34, 17 and a half remaining second half. Nice maneuver by the Cavs, but ball last touch by Rutgers, Latanya Johnson. I don't think the Rutgers fans were too happy with that call, and it was obvious. It looked like it went off Burge at the end. Of course, it's always better to, easier to see it up here. Way up top they go to Dina Evans. Averaging 10 points per ball game in a reserve role at guard. Of course, she started here in the second half with Dawn Staley on the bench. Staley re-injuring the right knee that she had arthroscopic surgery on a few weeks back. Inside, Reese, and a three-second violation is the call. Rutgers done a nice job with that defense, basically playing man-to-man, -man, but really sloughing inside, sagging a great deal, shutting it off in the middle. Cop looking for trouble. Excuse me, looking for help. She's in trouble. <laughs> Pike it. Here's Hanson. Us double pump fake. No. And Reese being played by us behind the back. Tammy Reese handles that ball very well for Virginia. Inside they go Burge. And the foul is on Hanson. That would be her fourth. And that's tough, too. She was weak size. She came off real strong, tried to get that position, but was too close. You have to allow the player to turn the official's judgment. She didn't do that. That's tough. Could be a tough time for Rutgers. She had a great first half. Six points, four rebounds, three block shots. Debbie Ryan giving some encouragement and making some adjustments with her team. Ball knocked away underneath, and Pikett comes up with the steal. Long pass up ahead to us, who dribbles once, now in trouble. Moves right, lays it up, no. Gets the rebound. Here's us. Dishes outside the cop. And Cheryl will set it up. Rutgers by two, 36-34. Four minutes gone by here in the second half. Vicki Pikett with a head fake. Cross court, too many hands, and knocked away by Virginia. Up ahead to Tammy Reese. She lays it up and in. Game is tied at 36. Ten points for Reese. She had two last night, but she's capable of far more than two, as she's showing us tonight. Good ball game in the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament Championship. 15-40 remaining. Here's Pikett outside to Cott. Vicky Pikett baseline, down to eight seconds on the 30. Cop takes the shot, air ball, and it goes out of bounds. Rutgers saying it was tipped by Virginia, but the call goes the other way. <laughs> Dina Evans. Nice maneuver. Nice little pass by Reese. She penetrated very nicely and just passed it off to Burge. Heidi Burge with a bucket, and Virginia by two, 38-36. 15 minutes remaining second half. Cop fakes the three. Here's us to pike it on the left wing. Us in the paint, puts it up. No, rebound underneath to Ward, and a jump ball. It'll be Virginia ball on the alternating possession. Rutgers could have done a nice job on their offensive boards the start of this half, putting good pressure on Virginia there, getting second and third shots. Virginia playing that 3-2 zone defense, but they're keying on Pikett. She's getting that ball down there 10 feet, but she doesn't want to take it. Us getting some nice shots, but they won't drop. Burge, turn around, no, gets her own rebound, puts it up, no. Scott takes it away for Virginia. Ward lost it out of bounds. It'll be Rutgers ball. 
Rutgers first half, eight block shots to Virginia's one. So they've done a nice job inside on the Virginia big people. Cheryl Kopp brings it up. Here's Linust. Kopp. Hansen baseline in and out. Rebound Johnson strong underneath and draws the foul. Very strong. And Johnson putting in some good quality time there. Had about 14 minutes in that first half and I thought played really well. She was two for three from the field. Got four defensive rebounds. That was a good first half. She had three of those eight block shots. Latanya Johnson to the line. Rutgers shooting 22% so far from the floor. Having trouble. Teresa Grants knew that. That's why she likes the running game. And Johnson just one of five from the free throw line this year. She's now one of six. And you can tell she's thinking about it a little too much. It's tough. You got to shake that off. So you put her hands to her head there, wipe her brow. Really struggling from the line. Her second is on the way and no good. But Lynn Us with a big rebound and then dribbles out of traffic. Another example, Rutgers' job on the offensive boards. Outstanding job by us. Here's Pikett. Nice head fake. What a move. No. And Virginia the other way. They have a three on two. Here is Reese. Stops, pops, kisses it off the glass. Very nice, too. Great body control there. She really read that floor while she dribbled, put the ball in her left hand, used the glass nicely. 13.50 remaining. Second half. And Virginia with a four-point lead. Outside, Ust for three. In and out. Rutgers really struggling from the floor. Here come the Cavs the other way. Evans, nice pass underneath Scott, who draws the foul. So Fran Scott will go to the line. Remember, Virginia playing without their leading scorer, their leading rebounder, their leader in assists, and their leader in steals. They've got to be getting confidence as they go now. Up by four. Suzanne Cooper into the game. Vicki Pikett will sit down. Cheryl Kopp, her second foul. Good and substitution there. Suzanne Cooper, besides being the captain, is a good three-point shooter. Fran Scott at the line, and she hits the first. Rutgers just having a very cold second half. Two for 11 from the field. Linus one for seven of that two for 11. 0 for two from the line. Need to come back here, Lou, with the basket. Excuse me, Dick. Six-point lead for Virginia with the foul on the Cavaliers. Here we see that break with Evans trying to dish that ball off, which she did very nicely, and we see the foul underneath. And of course, Scott made both those foul shots. Rutgers will inbound underneath its own basket. Cooper to trigger. Bust inside Hanson, draws the foul. They'll call it on Heidi Burge. Heather Burge out. Now she has four fouls on her. And for Heidi, just her first foul. And for Virginia, that's their third team foul. Tanya Hansen at the line. No good. She'll get another. And hits the second. She was shooting 45% from the line. It's a five-point Virginia lead, 13 minutes remaining. Here is Reese. The 
foul is on Rutgers. They'll call it on Suzanne Cooper. There's Dawn Staley. Of course, she's still into the game, even though she isn't literally into the game. Up on that bad leg, cheering her teammates on. Scott to inbound. Virginia with a young team out there now with uh, two freshmen, two sophomores and a senior. Evans with a burst to the basket, lost the ball out of bounds, last touch by Rutgers. Shot outside, Evans, no. Here comes Cop quickly, and the foul is on, I believe, Coach Reese. Prince wants an intentional foul. And a timeout on the floor. 12 minutes, 32 seconds remaining. Virginia, 42, Rutgers, 37. I'll never forget 1958, the first overtime championship game ever played in the NFL. Uniteds and the Colts, they beat the Giants 23-17. And the sporting news was there. Hey, you want overtime? How about that 1982 playoff game? The Chargers over the Dolphins, 41-38. The most exciting game I ever saw. And the sporting news was there. Yes, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, or hockey, wherever the excitement is, the sporting news is there, bringing you more complete coverage than any other sports weekly. Call now for the sporting news at the lowest price anywhere with convenient delivery right to your door. Call 1-800-253-1000 and get 29 issues of the sporting news for four payments of just $4.99. You'll save 69% off the cover price, 40% off the regular subscription rate. You can't get a better deal. Call 1-800-253-1000. That's 1-800-253-1000. Virginia with a five-point lead in the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. This is the championship game of the second annual regular season tournament. Suzanne Cooper nails one from outside. There's some instant offense. And that's the reason she was put in for that outside shot. 42-39, a three-point Lady Cavalier lead, 12 minutes remaining here in this second half. Virginia came in nine and one, Rutgers at three and two. Those two points, Lou, were the first points Rutgers has gotten from its bench this game. There's a foul on Rutgers inside, Heidi Burge tied up. And Virginia will throw in underneath their own basket, a non-shooting foul. A good crowd on hand tonight for this championship game. And Heidi Burge at the line. The first is good. She's a 72% free throw shooter. And the second good also. A five point Virginia lead. Lynn Ust quickly up court. Finds an open Cheryl Kopp. Outside is Cooper. Turn around and the foul is on Virginia. Rutgers running that break from the foul shot that time. That was well executed. Dean Evans looking to try and draw the charge. Thought she could have had if she stepped in a little more. Ust was able to get around her. We should mention Suzanne Cooper, besides getting those two points, received the Bell Atlantic Award for Academic and Athletic Excellence. The second year that award has been given. $1,000 donated to Rutgers in her name. She gets a plaque. Outstanding student. 3.2 overall average, 3.4 in her major. And Johnson's struggles from the free throw line continue. Virginia is in a little bit of trouble now with their guards. That was Reese's 
fourth foul. Remember, Staley is out on the bench with that bad knee. Johnson will get another free throw. And I'm not sure what's going on down on the court. Bill Titus talking with Debbie Ryan. But Tanya Johnson, her second free throw, no good. She misses both. Rutgers has not shot well from the free throw line tonight. Here's Tammy Reese with the basketball being played by Suzanne Cooper. Cooper out of Laurel, Maryland. Reese with the jumper, good. Tammy Reese with that deadly outside shot. Lou, I think the official there was correcting a foul situation that Reese only has three, not four. That's why Coach Ryan's leaving her in the game. Cooper from outside. Yes! <laughs> Captain of the Rutgers team coming in a crucial time, hitting two for two. 46-41, a five-point Virginia lead. 11 minutes remaining, second half. Dina Evans has... Some room, but does not make the shot. Here comes Rutgers. Cheryl Cop quickly up court. In the corner, Cooper wide open, buries it. What a great job, and what a great job of uh, Cop finding her in that corner. Cooper not hesitating at all, taking that shot. Three for three for six points. 46-43. Virginia by three. Outside is Fran Scott. Goes inside Wagoner. Nice maneuver with a reverse underneath. Great maneuver, but some of the Rutgers fans were looking for maybe an extra step in there. It was still a great move. Johnson, good. What a great touch by LaTanya Johnson. That's the spot that seems to be open in the zone. It's a spot where Tanya Hansen was open the first half. Now LaTanya Johnson's getting in there, taking advantage of it. Brian Scott. Here's Reese. No. Rebound us. It's a two-on-one for Rutgers, but Reese gets back quickly. Us dishes to Hanson, who loses it. Ball knocked away. Us regains. Outside cop. Jumper. Good. Just a two. It's a two-pointer, and this Rutgers crowd is in a frenzy. Timeout. Nine minutes, 12 seconds remaining. Second half. A timeout on the floor, Virginia 48, Rutgers 47. In a perfect world, winter would be all ski slopes, beautiful scenery, and fires in the fireplace. But in a near-perfect world like ours, winter does create a few problems. So with that in mind, the Weather Channel offers weather forecasts tailored to the winter season. The winter weather update, the wind chill report, and the cold weather alert are just a few of the reports we air to help you prepare for winter, sometimes imperfect weather. So to make perfectly good plans in a nearly perfect time of year, watch the Weather Channel, the perfect place to get accurate forecasts anytime. Hi, I'm Brian Trache. If you don't have Sports Channel, you're missing the big game. Like the Islanders battling to bring back the Stanley Cup to Long Island. Plus, Sports Channel's got exclusive coverage of the entire NHL, straight through the Stanley Cup Finals, and New Jersey's favorite teams, the Devils and Mets. Call your local cable operator and see what you've been missing on Sports Channel. Call TKR Cable in Metuchen, Parliament, and Warren today and order Sports Channel. A lot to get excited about. Forty-eight, forty-seven, Virginia by one. Cavaliers. Put it up, no. Rebound, Burge draws the foul. Heidi Burge draws the foul. 
And she'll go to the line. She's an outstanding free throw shooter. Latanya holding her hands up there saying, I didn't do anything. I have my hands strapped in the air. She's not allowed to come into them. And you're right, Latanya. The only problem is that they uh, usually call it on the defense. Rutgers have gotten very hot there the last few minutes. Up until then, shooting 33%. We talked about their outside shooting. Cooper comes in three for three. Cop hits that long one. And she hits the first. Each team with five team fouls here in the second half. We're under nine minutes remaining. Clock stopped at 8.57. Ball knocked away as Burge misses the second and Ust recovers. Here comes Cheryl Cott. Rutgers down by a deuce. Looking to tie on this possession. The championship of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament on the line. Ust underneath. Lays it up. No. Gets the rebound and is... No, it's a jump ball. It'll be Rutgers ball. Great job, too, by LaTanya Johnson. She's the one that sprung that one loose. Tanya Hansen doing the same thing. While someone else gets credit for the rebound, she's the one that's cutting it loose. They've done a great job on both offensive and defensive boards. Cooper outside. No, off the front of the rim. And Virginia with the rebound. Here comes Tammy Reese. Quickly up court. Sends ahead for Burge. Rutgers ball on the turnover. A little trouble handling the ball. It was a right idea by Reese. Burge just could not handle it. The Tanya Johnson, a little slow getting down on defense that time. Cheryl Kopp looks to set it up, and RU looks to tie. Ust is due. Hands to Ust. Puts it up and in. She had to be due. She's just been too quiet right now, just having a tough time with that shot. We are tied at 49. Excellent championship game. Burge puts it up too hard. Rebound knocked around and Cop takes it away for Rutgers. Quickly up court. In the lane. Dishes to Hanson who lays it in. That's what Rutgers does so well. Easiest way for him to score. Hanson runs that floor so well. Cop can get the ball in the middle and run that break. Rutgers has regained the lead. And Reese comes back and ties it up. What a nice drive. Kept that dribble, little hesitation, kept going right to the basket. But here comes Cobb pushing it down. Good move by Rutgers. Tied at 51. Hansen shot too hard off the backboard. Last touch by Virginia. Boy, both teams up off the bench. The crowd into it now. A terrific ball game. Johnson playing as much as I have seen her play. She usually starts, comes uh, off the bench then later on, but she's hanging in there, good quality time. Caused that Rutgers ball. Cheryl Kopp buries it from about 15, and Rutgers back in the lead, 53-51. Here's Evans, angles to the left. 6.55 remaining second half. Ball knocked away, and the foul will be on LaTanya Johnson. That will be her third. She'll come out, and Sita Mitchelson back into the game for Rutgers. That's 13 solid minutes in that half by Johnson. Did a nice job in there. Mitchelson, a freshman. Inside, Burge with the hook shot doesn't go. Rebound underneath Franklin, I believe. But yes, it's a jump ball. It will be Virginia's possession. Carmella Franklin at 5-6 in there going in saying, I'm going to get that rebound because she just timed it better. And she's battling underneath. Reese for three off the back of the rim. Rebound Rutgers. Mitchelson hands the cop. Cross court us. Lynn us with a nice move and the foul in the lane is called on Virginia. I believe it's on Tina Evans. That's why Coach Grant thinks that Cop can be the best, best point guard she's ever had. She's a smart player. She's showing us tonight she can hit from the outside, but she keeps that offense going. Really pushes that ball down. 
And Cheryl Kopp, of course, with some big shoes to fill here at Rutgers. Janet Malouf was the point guard the last four years, and she was an outstanding point guard in her own right. This one thrown away. Here comes Virginia. Quickly, Tammy Reese double pumps and hits. She has played a brilliant game for the Lady Cavaliers. She sure has. She rises to the occasion just like last night with only two, but they were a crucial two points. We are tied at 53. Hansen gets it back out to us. Here's Cop with the head fake. Now puts it up, but she got in no man's land, and that one was knocked away by Burge. Behind the back dribble, Evans puts it up. No. Rebound underneath, knocked away, and it will be Rutgers ball. What a pretty play that had it been, had it dropped for Evans because she did that so nicely. 18 points for Reese. She's really rising to the occasion with Staley. I just got 12 in the second half. Here's Ust. Cop goes to Hanson. Cheryl Cop, nice move. Looks for help now. In trouble, finds Ust. Eight seconds on the 32nd clock. Cooper off the front of the rim. And Virginia the other way. The Cavaliers with an opportunity to take the lead. Evans drives and hits. Nice maneuver by Dina Evans. What a nice play. They weren't going to take her because they had their guard situation they thought in great shape, but she wanted to come to Virginia. She said, I'll come and take my chances. Her dad's basketball coach was a basketball coach, San Jacinto Junior College down in Texas, one of the better junior college programs. Hansen too hard off the backboard, but Mitchelson saves. Rutgers looking to tie. Cop for three. No, they say it's a two-point shot. Cheryl Cop with her foot on the line. We're tied at 55. Under five minutes remaining in the second half. This is women's basketball at its best, just like the slogan says for the Bell Atlantic tournament. Ball knocked away underneath. Lax touched by Virginia. Substitutions now. Vicki Pikett back into the game for Rutgers. Replaces Suzanne Cooper, who played very well off the bench. Also, back into the game for Virginia, Fran Scott. She's back in at the forward position. Virginia playing that 3-2 zone defense, trying to key on Pikett. Top head fake goes baseline outside us at the foul line, pops and hits. Rutgers showing good patience against that zone, working for the good shot. Tammy Reese back the other way. Burge outside Scott. She'll take a three-pointer. No. Rebound, Pike it. Rutgers by two. 57-55. Virginia choosing to keep their big people on the blocks. They send the wings down to the corners. Pike it. No, too hard off the backboard. Virginia at even strength, two on two. Evans finds an open Reese who puts it up. No, here's Burge and the foul. They executed that break nicely, other than Reese not converting at the very end. But Evans did a nice job of seeing her and hitting it. Heather Burge at the line. The foul is called against Mitchelson. That's her second. And Rutgers over the limit now. And Burge at the line. Heather Burge. 52% from the free throw line. And she hits the first. She gets the roll. It's a one-point ball game. Second is on the way, and no good. But the rebound put up by Heidi Burge doesn't go. Here comes Cop and a foul. That's a backcourt foul. Rutgers with a one-point lead. And with Virginia over the limit, 
Cheryl Kopp will shoot. We can't ask for a better shot than that. One sister fouled up for the other sister. Kept it in the air, just couldn't get it to drop. In and out, Kopp, an 85% free throw shooter, unable to hit. And now the foul in the backcourt on Hanson. I believe it was Hanson. And a break in the action. Three minutes, 28 seconds remaining in the second half. Rutgers 57, Virginia 56. Hey, how are you? Sorry that I'm not at home. But when I get the message on my telephone, you'll be the first one on my list. Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for answering machines. I am very sorry that I'm not at home to take your call. Only 1495. When I will get right back to you. Give someone the gift of gab for their answering machine. Calling a friend. What you've actually done is bought a one-way ticket to the answering machine zone. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You got Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for only $14.95. To order, wait for the beat. Call 1 800 253 1000. Call 1 800 253 1000. Rutgers leading by one, 57 56 in the championship game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. Excellent ball game so far, Dick Lloyd. Great game. Interesting, Vicky Pikett, though, second half, has not scored. Tough against that zone. Tanya Hansen picked up her fourth personal foul. Tammy Reese is at the line. Tammy, 78% free throw shooter. And she does not hit the free throw. Rutgers the other way, us to cop. And are you with a one-point lead? Three minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Here's us outside in the corner to go to Hanson. Pike it in the paint, lost it. And Virginia the other way. Dina Evans, who's played the whole way at point guard with Staley out of there. They go inside to Burge, turn around, in and out. Rebound, fought for Mitchelson with a strong effort. Here's Pike it to Cox. Heather can't seem to buy a basket in there. Has a nice touch, goes in, comes right back out. Winust in the corner. Hanson, jumper, no. Rebound, knocked around. Comes to Virginia. Here come the Cavaliers. Quickly, Reese behind the back dribble. Being played by Pikett. Maneuvers all the way. Beautiful pass to Burge. What a great pass. She had perfect control there. Knew what she wanted to do. Gave a beautiful pass. Nice penetration. You can see, too, on this defensive end, why Virginia does not go out to the corners. They keep the Burge sisters right on the blocks. Lady Cavaliers by one. 58-57. Here is Cop. Puts up a prayer underneath his Pikett, and she's fouled. Vicki Pikett. Let's take a look at that nice pass underneath. See, she sees it. She knows what she wants to do. Takes it up as the defense switches to her. Just gives that nice pass to Burge underneath. What a beautiful play. Vicki Pikett. At the line. She'll shoot two. 76% from the free throw line. Her first is no good. She'll get another with an opportunity to tie the score. Clock stopped at 2.02. Her second is on the way, and it rattles in. Wasn't pretty, but effective. 
Timeout on the floor. Two minutes, two seconds remaining. We are tied at 58. Hi, I'm Connie Salica, and I just put up my last holiday decoration. I know it's unusual, but this red ribbon is a very important decoration. Mothers Against Drunk Driving is asking us to change the meaning of tying one on. As a symbol of your commitment not to drink and drive, tie a red ribbon to any visible spot on your car. Join thousands in making these holidays happier by making them safer. Have a wonderful holiday and tie one on for safety. The beauty, the thrills, and the sheer fun of speeding down the side of a mountain combine to put millions of skiers on the slopes each year. Of course, the quality of the snow on the slopes as well as the weather determine to a great degree how good the skiing will be. So to get the latest ski conditions and forecasts for ski resorts across the country, watch the skiers forecast on the Weather Channel. We cover resorts in the east and west in separate reports throughout the day. Get the only hourly national forecast tailored especially for skiers. Watch the skiers forecast on the Weather Channel. Virginia basketball, they're tied with Rutgers at 58, under two minutes remaining. Now, Evans in trouble, jump ball, Rutgers on the alternating possession. What a job by Vicki Pikett. What a job by Coach Grenson calling that surprising Virginia, putting that trap on. It was executed well. Hust gets it in. Rutgers now will work for the good shot. Here's Cheryl Kopp, Lynn Hust. Kopp. Outside for three, good! Cavaliers down by three, 61-58, a minute and a half remaining. Tammy Reese finds Evans, goes inside, knocked away by Ust. Here is Kopp across the midcourt line. Goes to Ust. Kopp and Ust playing catch. We're down to a minute 10 remaining. Rutgers by three. Pike it to Ust. Five seconds remaining on the 30. Ust jumper short. Rebound Virginia. Cavaliers now might have to think three. We're inside a minute. Reese being played by Pike it. Outside Evans. Shot is short, rebound underneath, a struggle. Mitchelson saves the cop. And a foul on the play. Mitchelson really battling well there, really hustled to save that one. Interesting, Rutgers shooting two for eight this half. Now as it comes down the wire, they're going to have to improve that foul shooting. Virginia nine and one coming in. Rutgers at three and two. Virginia ranked number 10, Rutgers unranked. Rutgers actually began the season ranked number 25 in the top 25. Then the loss to Maine, they dropped quickly out. They're trying to get back in. Cheryl Kopp, 85% free throw shooter coming in at the line. First is good, a big one. Very big one. Rutgers shooting 9 for 18 from that foul line. Whole team is into it. The bench is into it. The fans are into it. She'll get another. Second on the way. Good. It's a five-point Rutgers lead. 22 points for Cheryl Kopp. What a game she's playing. Five for six from the line, three for five, three-point range. Evans puts it in and calls time. So clock stops with 27 seconds remaining here in the second half. 63-60 as Dina Evans drives to the hoop. All right, Coach Lloyd, what does Debbie Ryan do here obviously they need the ball back and obviously she wants to put a little pressure on put Rutgers at the foul line they have not been shooting well she certainly doesn't want to put cops so they've got to choose wisely who they're going to foul they do not want to put cop at the line 
almost anyone else at the line and take your chances with it. And the big crowd here at Rutgers fired up. A thunderous roar here in this second half as the Lady Knights have come from behind to take the lead. Well, it's interesting. What's helped them so much has been their outside shooting, which has been their weak weakness thus far. Obviously scouted by Virginia. Virginia says we'll leave them open in the corners. They forgot about the guards outside. Cheryl Cox, Suzanne Cooper coming in, really giving Rutgers from some outside scoring. Keep in mind, Virginia played this whole second half without their leading scorer, Dawn Staley. Staley averaging 20, almost nearly 23 points a ball game. She's had four 20-plus games this year and hit 29 points twice. So Virginia really has played relatively well without their big scorer in there. And Virginia, of course, putting that pressure on full court, putting the big player on the inbounder. Here's Hanson, and she's fouled right away. The foul is called on Franklin, Carmela Franklin. But now you're putting Tanya Hansen at the line. 46% shooter is yeah, what a I have choice the by line. Virginia. Well, the way Rutgers has been shooting their fouls, you could almost put anyone to the line but cop. That's the one thing you want to stay away from. Gives you a little more flexibility. That ball comes in, put the good move on to try and get the basketball. If you get the foul, that's okay too. All right, Hansen with a one and one and she cannot hit. Pike it saves, but Fran Scott has it for Virginia. Evans goes down, the foul is on Pike it. Certainly Rutgers did not want to do that because now Virginia has an opportunity to score with the clock stopped. And without having to use the timeout, coming down here to score and call that timeout. It's a good effort by Pikett, trying to come up with that loose ball. Dina Evans will be shooting the free throws. She'll have a one-and-one, one, and Evans is a 79% free throw shooter, so she has shot well from the charity stripe this year. But this is her first time tonight to go to the line. And the pressure is on. She hits the first. She'll get another. It's a two-point ball game. Rutgers 63, Virginia 61. Dina's 11th point on that foul shot. Second is on the way. Good. It's a one-point game. Into Ust. And she is smothered right away. They'll call it on Franklin. Not much time goes off the clock. 18 seconds remaining. And Lynn Ust will go to the line. Now, Lynn, as we had mentioned, in the past has been a very good free throw shooter. But this year, only 40% from the line. She's struggling a little bit. It is early. I don't have the stats in front of me, but she's only taken maybe a total of eight shots, so it's a little misleading stat. She's one for two tonight, though. She'll shoot one and one. One point Rutgers lead. First is good. She's been around the block before. She's used a little bit of pressure, as you talked about, with uh, Hoffman High School in South Amboy being nationally ranked. That was a little bit of pressure. Step up to that line with confidence. And she is one of the veterans now of this Rutgers Lady Night team. She rattles the second home. Two big free throws. And Rutgers by three. 15 seconds remaining and Virginia calls timeout. They trail by three and we'll keep it here. Do you go for the three now? Do you have to go for the three? I don't think you do. I didn't coach in three-point uh, time. <laughs> That's not a but, fair question to ask you, right? <laughs> but I, I don't think I would. I think I'd still play for the best shot you get, not necessarily for just a three. I'd play for the best shot, but get that timeout. I'm assuming they still have some timeouts left. If they don't have the timeout, then maybe I'd play for the three. But I'd go for the best shot I can get, try and get it up as quickly as I can. First good shot that comes in get that timeout right away and try and put the pressure on Rutgers on the inbounds pass. Dick, especially the way Rutgers has been shooting free throws recently. I know us just made the last two, but you could take a chance of, of just going for the two and then fouling quickly because the way Rutgers has been shooting, you may get the ball back. Right. 65-62, Rutgers leads it. Last year was the inaugural 
Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. It was Tennessee who won that championship game. That championship game a lot different than this one. Tennessee blew Rutgers out. Not the case this year. Rutgers and Virginia playing a very entertaining women's collegiate basketball game here this evening. In some ways, I'm sure these teams would like it to be the same so that the eventual <laughs> winner goes on to win the national championship. Burge looks to trigger, gets it into Reese. Not a lot of time now, 12 seconds. It looks like Virginia may go for three. Here is Reese, nope, she's gonna drive. Foul is on Pikett. Vicky Pikett called for the foul. That stops the clock with five seconds remaining. And now Tammy Reese will go to the line. She will shoot one and one. She's an excellent free throw shooter, 78% on the air. I think that three-point shot, too, has a lot to do with your personnel. Do you have a solid three-point shooter? Virginia tonight, 0 for 2 from three-point range. So that may have been one of the reasons that they called that. Pretty tough to get that three-point shot off against that aggressive man-to-man -man defense that Rutgers was playing also. And Rutgers calls timeout. They'll talk it over. Let's see the here, last foul. Reese here driving by Pikett. See the Mitchelson moving in. She ducks to go around her. You see Pikett trying to beat her to the baseline, and here's where it comes in. If Pikett isn't squared away, and she wasn't quite squared away when that contact was made. She was about a half a step behind. Fischl had to call that contact. Rutgers has done a couple of things uh, which are the sign of a young team, I think, Dick, in the last couple of, uh, of minutes. You've seen a couple of fouls, really, that they probably wouldn't want to commit. You don't want to stop that clock when the other team is trying to come back on you. Well, of course, you're also trying to stop the other team from getting the shot up. The foul down here that Pikett made in the backcourt. She had made that great move to try and save the ball. She was trying to get in and get a steal, so it, it's tough. Meanwhile, Tammy Reese, who is one of the better free throw shooters on the Lady Cavaliers, will be at the line. 18 points tonight, but 0 for 1 from the line. Big free throws here, obviously for Reese. That's an understatement as her club trails by three with five seconds remaining. Her first is in and out. Rebound Virginia underneath. Scott and Rutgers gets it with one second remaining and the buzzer sounds. I don't know, there might be one second left. Yes, there's one second remaining in the game. I believe that's what they're gonna say. I don't think this baby's over yet. Teresa Grantz is saying, yeah, yeah, but I don't think so. Yeah, and, and Teresa's saying, I'll play with one second with three points. And Rutgers ball. The call was jump ball. I thought it was a foul. No, it was jump ball. It's I think they're called ball. jump ball. Arrow points to... It's Virginia's ball. The arrow is pointing Virginia's way. Fran Scott will trigger. They'll get a shot off. I don't know if it'll be a good one, obviously, but they should get it off. Here's Reese, puts it up, off the rim, it's in! And it's a three-pointer! It's a three-pointer! And it's a three-pointer! You we talk about the bounce of the ball. We'll go overtime! Tied at 65. Well, you'll never see anything more dramatic or spectacular than that, will you? Wow, what a shot by Reese. It was a throw. There was no doubt about it. Good pressure on her. Maybe we can get a look at it here. Here she goes, breaking to the corner. They find her. Watch the pressure on her. Good pressure, definite three-point shot. Now let's see her watch it. And because it, it bounces three or four times, <laughs> look at her watching. And she knows it goes in. I thought Tammy Reese was going to run back to Charlottesville after that one. She ran all the way around the full court. What an effort 
What a ball game. Which proves anything can happen. One second. We are tied at 65. We'll play a five-minute overtime. Now, the crowd is booing here. They're booing the referees. I'm not so sure that's deserved. I think that was a pretty gutsy call by the referee. She got the shot off, I think. It was definitely a three-point shot. That official had to make some pretty tough calls there. Was the shot good? Was it a three-pointer? You're looking at two outstanding women's collegiate basketball teams and two outstanding programs as well. Rutgers and Virginia, they have been winners for a long time. You can understand why after watching this game, can't you? Now, let's see what happens to Vicki Pikett here in this overtime. She's been lost the second half. She's due. She could take charge. Pikett, nice look-away pass. Hanson puts it up. No. And Burge the rebound. Here comes Virginia. We're tied at 65. Four and a half remaining here in overtime. who made that big shot. Burge puts it up. No. Here's Heather Burge. No. Heidi Burge. Hanson ties her up. And it remains Virginia's ball. Debbie Ryan into the game, as you can see. Both teams having trouble making that. Teresa's saying they got the last jump ball. But we started... They got the last arrow. All right, we started with the jump ball. Rutgers got the possession. That's correct. Next possession goes to Virginia. Virginia. That is correct. It is Virginia's ball. Now, the crowd is wrong here, Dick. It is Virginia's ball. Rutgers won the tap to begin the overtime. Here's Evans outside looking for help. Reese knocked away Pikett. Up to us, the long pass. Let us lays it up. In and the foul. Nice defense down the defensive end by Vicki Pikett, who got that ball loose. Did a nice job of defending the post player inside. Us did an equally good job taking it to the basket. Three minutes, 57 seconds remaining, and the clock stopped. Us at the line. Misses the free throw. Here comes Reese. 67-65, Rutgers by two. Outside they go Franklin. Here's Reese at the top of the key. Puts it up, no, off the back of the rim. Franklin, nice move underneath, and a whistle. Foul, I believe, is on Rutgers. The one and one. It's the second rebound Franklin got there. It's the only 5-6, but she gets inside, gets her share of rebounds. It's the fourth personal on Pikett. And Franklin to the line. With Tanya Johnson back in for Rutgers. Starting this overtime period. She misses the first and last touch by Virginia. Rutgers ball, three minutes, 31 seconds remaining in overtime. Coach Grentz with her staff analyzing the situation. Here's Cheryl Kopp. Virginia does not go out to the corner. They want Hanson to take that shot from the corner. Nice look. Johnson wide open underneath. It's a four-point Rutgers lead. 3-0-8 remaining. Lynn Ost with the assist. Here's Reese. Head fake in the lane. Puts it up. Blocking foul on Rutgers. If it's against Pikett, she's gone. That would be five.
She's obviously a little upset about that. Just having a tough night tonight. Psychological edge really coming into overtime with that last second shot. And Rutgers has played well. Hanson in the lane, lost it. Cooper regains. Cooper's done a good job off the bench. Us that side. Hanson from the foul line, no. Evans, baseline, good. What, Evans. what a nice job. She knew what had to be done. She couldn't waste time. Took it right down to that baseline. Tough shot to get off. 71-69, a minute 24 remaining. That was Evans' 13th point. Rutgers by two in the first overtime. Hanson, turn around, no. Virginia can tie. Here comes Tammy Reese, who has been a star tonight for Virginia. remaining. Rutgers looking for a timeout. Teresa Grunt wants a timeout. And they take it. 34 seconds remaining. 72-71. Well, what a game, huh? Tremendous game. No question about that. Virginia, a lot of poise. Executed that last play so nicely. I thought Reese was holding onto that ball too long, but she found Evans. Evans hit that three-point. They're hitting those three-pointers when they need them. Rutgers having a difficult time getting that basket. Hansen had a nice shot at the top of the keys. Got to take those shots. Got to be able to hit them, though. Virginia, of course, had a tough game in the first round of this tournament. Taking on Auburn, a two-point victory. Two tough games in a row for the Lady Cavs. Well, they're a pretty confident team. They play with a lot of poise for being a relatively young basketball team. Debbie Ryan has done an outstanding job at the University of Virginia. Look at the, the Virginia backcourt now with 40 points, 23 for Reese, 17 for Evans. Not bad when you figure your top backcourt player has been out the entire second half and much of the first half. Rutgers looking for victory number four and Teresa Grants for victory number 340. If they can come from behind here, Hanson's shot is short. No contact, 28 seconds remaining. Tammy Reese. Rutgers thought they had this 1-1. It's not over yet, but things are looking good for Virginia. Here's Reese behind the back. And finally, they foul Evans with nine seconds left. We talk about the pendulum of emotion. Of course, it's not over yet, as I just mentioned, but Virginia one second away from defeat. Rutgers celebrating, Dick. And now it's the other way around. You look at that Rutgers bench, and the heads are hanging. They can't believe what has happened to them. Well, it's hard to believe. And we had another good shot down this end for Rutgers. I think they thought that Tanya may have been hit a little bit there, did not make the shot, whatever the case. 
shot is no good. Nine seconds remaining. Rutgers quickly up court. Five seconds. Here's Cott Cooper. No. Rebound Hansen at the buzzer. No. Virginia has won the Bell Atlantic Holiday Championship. A tremendous basketball game. Virginia 72, Rutgers 71. And we have to wrap up quick, Dick, but in closing, a heartbreaking loss for Rutgers, a terrific victory for, for, for Virginia, and I don't think they'll ever forget that last shot in regulation by Tammy Reese. Well, I think you summed it up the best when you said a good basketball game. Both teams played very, very tough, and I think that's the story tonight. That'll do it from the Lewis Brown Athletic Center at Rutgers University. Once again, the final. It's Virginia 72, Rutgers 71 for Dick Lloyd and the TKR Cable Sports Production Crew. I'm Lou Brock.